What's up YouTube, Brownie here coming to you with another video and today we're going to take a look at some attempts of CLM 34 in the Light Faction. Um, we, we don't have any of the major damage dealers from the Light Faction uh, as in like Asmodel, uh, Vulcan, and Eos, you know the Transcendence form. Um, but we do have Natalia <laughs> and Natalia can do some interesting things uh, by herself she um she's an interesting hero uh i'm gonna show you mine and um she's not anything special honestly not anything special at all she's a b plus yes but uh she, she has b plus speed b attack and b hp her bonus stats are rather good though because it's skill damage and damage reduction so those are very useful for natalia um and Mainly, I want to show you guys something here quick. So, skill damage is going to be huge for her because she deals extra damage for every one attribute reduction effect the target has. And it's a thousand percent of attack. So, if you have, if I have, like for me, I have 500 skill damage. Uh, so, that's going to be 1500 percent of attack. So, that's um, half or 50% more damage I guess is what that is um, it's really good for her and if you don't know about skill damage um, it only affects it only affects uh, active skills and dot damage so it doesn't help your basic attacks or anything so that's something to keep in mind when you do choose skill damage as a um, uh, buff or whatever in your like imprints and things because it, it will help your active but not your basic <clears throat> um, So yeah, she has 1.3 billion HP 16.2 uh, million attack and Yeah, that's that's about it for the stat screen um, the stone we used uh, Was holy damage skill damage the artifact we actually used a lucky candy bar because the enemy wave has stun and I think that's Seal of Light or something, which is super annoying. And then the imprints, or I mean the enables, sorry, were Mightiness, because um, we can't outspeed the enemy, Lethal Fight Back, and don't be stupid like me and forget to change Control Purify to um, Shared Fate, because that'll just make your time with this a lot easier. Uh, and then Balance Strike. So, <clears throat> basically... Basically, we have extra damage, and um, we can heal if we crit. Uh, let's see. The imprints were damage reduction, crit, and skill damage. Um, I know the crit sounds kind of weird, but you're going to want to get rid of the front line as soon as possible, and her critting on her basic attack just helps that happen way faster. Uh, I tried... I tried many many different combinations of imprints like skill damage holy damage precision holy damage armor break uh you know like all kinds of stuff i just tried many many combos and this one seemed to be the best give gave me the best results um so yeah now the destiny uh level is chaos level 85 and the skills i have chosen are um for the first one is she gains six layers per active she does so basically in round two well the fight works like she does a basic then she does an active she'll do a basic active basic active basic active the whole fight um it, it just seemed to always work out that way um the only time it didn't is if she would high roll dodges a lot of dodges and then it might be two basics in a row but for the most part, it's basic active, basic active. And that means once round two hits and she does her active, her destiny skill will be will be activated every single round till the end of the fight. So, um, yeah. Knowing that, I chose extra damage to the front line. And then uh, I chose uh, to energy drain the highest attack um, enemy. So... Those were those were the best options I had. I thought I had for her, um, this fight with her being only level uh, chaos level. If she had the the next level up, I'd probably choose. Um, let's see. 
probably the energy gain, or maybe the, because I, ha I ran her on the front line, so she would remove an attribute reduction effect from herself if I ran this, so I might actually run that one. But anyway, I don't have that one, so I didn't do anything with it. Um, and yeah, I think that's about it for the setup and what my hero has for herself. Um, so, so yeah, without uh, any more talking, let's just go ahead and check out these fights. Okay, so here we are. We're switching our imprint back to crit chance because it just seemed to be way better. Um, now the thing here about these fights is what we want to happen is we need to kill the boss by our second active. So, uh, so we have enough rounds to kill out the minions. Because if you kill, if I kill the boss in round seven, which is the third active, uh, it just I don't have enough time to get the minions dead. So we'll see if we get a decent active here from Natalia, and the, that was below average active compared to most of the other attempts on the boss. Um, so let's just see what we can do with the second active here. Sometimes the second one can be huge. All right, here we go. And so many counterattacks. But here's the active coming up. <laughs> okay, there it is. And good damage, but the boss just had a little bit of health left, and that's not going to do it for us. So buy a couple more attempts and... Go ahead and give this a uh, few more shots. So here we um, we see every, my whole team just dies around one or two. Um, they uh, just yeah, and you see all the stun that gets put out. It's crazy. So lucky candy bar is a huge artifact to avoid all that stuff with. And let's see what we get for our first active here. Come on, Natalia. There's many, many counterattacks in this fight. So, a little bit more damage than the last attempt. And, uh... Hopefully that was enough that we can kill him in the, the second active here. So, we're gonna get a basic here, fill up our shield bar. So we get a full shield bar basically every other round. And let's hope this active is huge. And there... <laughs> There it was. Okay, so that's that's what I mean by a huge active in the second round. Uh, we killed the boss around four, so now we have three extra rounds uh, to try and kill these minions, and hopefully we can do it. Um, what's going to happen here is see the back row guy in the front there. He has the purple thing. When he he'll die and resurrect, but when he dies, the purple thing will go to a new one. So then that one will start taking damage. So there's a little bit of RNG as to how um, that purple uh, mirror thing, whatever it's called, I forget what it's called, but uh, there's a little bit of RNG on who that goes to and and whatnot. Um, it's kind of nice that it went to the back row heroes first because I can get a kill on them early. They do their resurrection, and then these front row heroes just keep taking basic attacks, so they'll eventually w get whittled down as the fight goes on. So the back row is taking the main brunt uh, of the actives. So so yeah, um, that one on the bottom is almost done. There's our first front row hero uh, that died, our front row enemy that died. And uh, we have three rounds left to do this. Okay, we got a kill in the back row. He resurrected, so now we just gotta kill these guys and they'll be dead for good. We got two rounds. Okay, we got the one, and this is obviously going to be good. So we have an active here. Definitely going to kill him, and that gives us the win. So, so yeah, it was pretty cool. Um, pretty cool fights. And, yeah, that's, uh, that's what I wanted to show you guys. Uh, Natalia just doing her thing. She, uh, she can actually put out some damage. And uh, I got some PvP stuff coming up here that I want to show you with her, too. And yeah, so keep an eye out for that. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.